I also would like to address the board that I paid um, almost $1,300 for this case. I paid a lot of money to be here today. So I do want to be heard in full. The, the appeal, as, as we've mentioned several times now, it's with respect to the administrative determinations on 6464. And I, I guess it would be up to the proponent of this information to explain how a drone video of the McKeever pit might have an impact on whether the administrative determinations on a different pit are right. So I would leave that to Ms. Bell to explain the relevance and then you can you can decide whether you think it makes sense or not. Thank you, Dan. Dave, did you have a comment? Um, this goes back to the 60 days that you had to be able to do what we're is there seeing right now. For that, or is yes, that that's correct? Okay. If, if there were issues at that time that should have been brought up within 60 days of 64, 64. Okay. You made mention of the fact, or you stated something about you could not make that 60 days due to what, succinctly? Data request. So, you to, so when I discovered that there were errors in another property, that this was part of the orders, I didn't even know what ordinance decision was when I this all came about. So I started reading the regulations and um, discovering that there, the, the McKeever pit was in severe recommendation. So then I had to pull a data request, and I didn't know what to ask for. So when you pull a data request, you have to go over keywords, and it takes a while to get the keywords to be right to get what you need. Um, you can't just say, hey, can you give, give me a, um, a, a information on, on inspections? I didn't know those existed. So it took a while to actually get the documents from the county, because I had to email them, and they had to review them, find the cost of how much it would cost for me to pay for these. And then they would take their crew and, uh, and and then get the data, and then their then their staff would have to do um, um, verify there was uh, no um, concerns of what was that? Basically, there was I just there was public data, <laughs> so it's quite a process to get public data. It's not a very, very easy thing. So um, this was not given to us. I had to pay for this, um, and so it, that's that is why it took so long. Honestly, this should have been given to all of us uh, at the May 14th hearing when this was approved in the first place. However, yes. when we did approve, you had 60 days yes. to come back, and you're saying that due to being able to get the data that you needed, you could not make the 60 days. At any point, did you create a document or do anything to notify staff or such that you would need an extension or anything because you could not make the 60 days. We didn't know at that time that there was an option. There's actually a letter, I don't have it with me, from Patty Wheeler. She emailed Matt Johnson saying, is there anything we can do about this? Or is it a done deal? And he basically said it's a done deal. We were not even told there was an appeal process. Um, and that is actually in the email, if you want, I can email it to you or share it with you, but I don't have it on hand. Um, but that was right after the, the, the permit was given. Is there anything we can do? And the answer is no. No. Just as, as I'm listening and, and, and getting different information, with the 60 days dispute, you're in a situation that you're outside of it. You didn't have anything mm -hmm. that changed it. And this, to me, is I can't make a decision about 60 yeah. days and such. This is more a litigation type situation that really doesn't involve us so we go back to a lot of this is is yeah irrelevant yeah and I even though you yeah. if if you had brought it all in and such it could have changed things yeah so uh um but again i i do um i disagree with the 60 day window um as as in fact that there are the ordinances that, that they're in those those three categories that i discussed earlier they do not in those three categories when there's a mistaken error you know a factor law they do not say in that category within 60 days, you know, they don't say that. So, so we can't pick and choose the ordinances that we want to use when they, they fit our, our criteria. And that's what the county is very good at, is, is picking and choosing what they want to use and when they want to use it, how they want to use it. 
fact of the matter is the ordinance says shall be made null and void. So I do disagree with 68 uh, notice um, for an appeal because I believe, and I talked to many lawyers, not county lawyers, um, but other lawyers that agree with me. Um, and so that is why I stand to the McKeever Pitt as being an issue. Um, and it also, I think, does uphold a base of character for a neighborhood that we would be having as this is our business um, neighbor and how they treat other properties that they have. So I, I do, I will continue on with this part of my speech, um, but I do feel it is relevant. I will let you play the drone. Um, it is not relevant to what we're doing all today, but I will let you play that because I want you to feel that you've been heard and I'd like the citizens of Friesenberg Township to feel that they've been heard. So I will let you go ahead. Thank you. 